feel like an idiot, but maintain the vision with the boat. Hey, you're still clear to land three spots. Affirmative, Chief. I'll wait you for Affirmative that I'm an idiot or that you're going to maintain the visual? No comment. Yeah, my wife would have jumped on the first one. Thank you. So this video is about clearance void time. The reason I decided to make this video is because there was a conversation that I had a few months before with a pilot who had a considerable amount of flying experience but all of the time all of the flight time that they had was from controlled air spaces the only time they went to uncontrolled airports were with an instructor and vfr i asked them about clearance void time it came up in a random com conversation and unfortunately they were not very familiar with what clearance void time means and that's what gave me the motivation of making this video and trying to put in as much value within this video in this video, I'm going to give you a very nice understanding of how the IFR system works a little, how the clearance is generated a little, why do we need clearance void time, and then we'll talk about what happens if you don't comply with clearance void time. So let's get started. IFR cross-country flying is one of the best ways of making cross countries because it allows you to fly in weather conditions which are less than VFR. Instrument rating gives you this privilege and having this privilege also brings along a lot of challenges because instrument flying requires you to know your procedures properly, fly departure procedures and route procedures, holds, arrivals, approaches etc. In addition to all of these procedures, there is also the ATC communication part that makes it challenging. There are different terms that are associated to IFR flying that you need to be familiar with. Clearance void time is one such term which most people operating from uncontrolled airports should know about. This is a term that ATC uses in order to provide separation. Whenever you fly IFR, it is always good for ATC to assume that you cannot look outside and hence they provide the maximum IFR separation that they can to stay clear of traffic. They apply a lot of departure restrictions in the form of clearance void time, release time, etc. and give you the safety that they are supposed to provide. And like I said, clearance void time is one such way of giving you that safety. Not knowing clearance void time might catch you off guard when you're going out of an uncontrolled airport and ATC assigns you one and you don't want to embarrass yourself by asking ATC what the clearance void time means or even worse, you don't want to be in a pilot deviation position when you don't comply with it. What I've done here is I've created a scenario and I'm trying to do this live one take kind of a shot so that it's as natural as a conversation as it can be. This is how I teach my students and I want to create that environment on YouTube as well. So we've created a scenario from APT to MDQ, Jasper, Marion County, Brownfield to Huntsville Executive, Tom Sharp Jr. Field. This is around Chattanooga and we will be doing an IFR cross country from APT to MDQ. The weather is 1000 feet ceiling and 3 statute mile visibility requires an IFR flight plan and we won't be able to maintain our VFR separation unless we fly at 500 feet which is obviously not very safe. So we will be filing an IFR flight plan and getting our clearance. So let's see. Um, Marion County. The Marion County Airport is an uncontrolled airport and what we would do is after we file this route we will be requesting our IFR clearance. Let's say we filed for 1300 Zulu and we call the FSS. Our file altitude is 4000 and we want to depart in about 5-10 minutes from now. The current time is 1250 Zulu when we are requesting the clearance and 1300 is our expected departure time. The runway for departure would be runway 22 and this is what we tell the FSS personnel when we talk to them. If you look at the chat supplement, the clearance delivery phone number can also be used if you don't want to use the FSS phone number. You can request the clearance from the clearance delivery of Chattanooga approach. When you get the clearance, this is the clearance that you receive. November 24 Papa Alpha Papa, what was the April? You are cleared to the Huntsville Executive Tom Sharp Jr. Field via direct. Climb and maintain 3000, expect 4010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 1190.2, transponder code 4466. Clearance void if not off by 1320 Zulu. If not off by 1320 Zulu, advise Chattanooga approach 
of intentions no later than 13 25 Zulu. So our clearance void time is 1320. The time to report is 1325 Zulu. Let's see what that means. We have gotten a clearance void time. To understand why we got a clearance void time, we first need to understand how the clearance is generated. Whenever you file your IFR flight plan, it goes to the ARTCC. When it goes to the ARTCC, when it goes into the system and they are processing all of these flight plans so that they can make sure that there are no conflicting flight paths or there are no conflicting timings. They don't want someone flying over you when you are departing, for example. So they are looking for all of this and it is all using algorithms. Obviously, not, a person is not sitting and looking at it. It's an algorithm that actually checks for this. But when you file the flight plan, it goes to this ARTCC and that's where all of this processing is done. Then a clearance is generated. Not always is the case when you get what you filed. Let's say you decided to fly, you filed 4000, but there was some traffic separation problem at 4000. They can give you a different altitude for that reason. When we got this clearance, you can be assured that there was some amount of processing that was done and it was not a randomly generated clearance. The reason they give clearance wait time is when you are departing, from this airspace they want you to depart by 1320 Zulu 1320 is your clearance void time it means they want your wheels up you they want you to be in the air by 1320 Zulu it does not mean you have to contact departure by 1320 it just means that this area around Marion County Brownfield Airport is yours around 1320 Zulu and I'm giving you this for your IFR departure because like I said before they will assume that you cannot see outside okay so when they assume that they cannot see outside they have to clear that area for you to depart and get into the national airspace system this is the reason they give you a clearance void and they're telling you Mr. Chintan they're telling you my battery is gone they're telling you Mr. Chintan Patel you have to depart this airspace within this time frame we are giving you this area for departure during this time there wouldn't be any traffic around you and we'll make sure that happens that's why 1320 or clearance void time is important clearance void time should not be violated and that is why they give you another time 1325 to report of your intention let's say for some reason maybe after you got your clearance you got in the airplane went out did an engine run up and the airplane the magnetos were creating trouble it's IFR you don't want trouble with the engine in IFR so you decided to discontinue the flight yes very good decision but remember someone is waiting for you departure is going to be waiting for you to make contact around the time of departure they would be waiting for you around 13 20 13 30 for a call that November 2 4 Papa Alpha that Chattanooga departure November 2 4 Papa Alpha departed from Marion County Brownfield Airport this is our heading climbing to 3000 climbing to 3000 someone is waiting for you I know I'm making it like a story but it is actually the case so someone is waiting for you and if you decide to discontinue the flight and if you do not contact the ATC within the 30 minutes of your clearance void time they will start search and rescue operations and void time isn't flexible you cannot you cannot choose to depart five minutes later you have to be wheels up by void time we will talk about what happens if you're not wheels up in a bit before we go on to discuss what happens if you do not call or you do not comply with clearance void time remember this all of this is for your safety and all of this is for ifr separations these atc procedures are in place for proper ifr traffic management so what happens after clearance void time there are two things in my head right now one is you departed after clearance void time which means you departed after 13 20 zulu the fa states that the pilots who depart at or after their clearance void time are not afforded ifr separation and may be in violation of 14 CFR section 91173. Now 91173 is the regulation that requires you to have a flight plan and a clearance when entering IFR in controlled airspace. So you might be violating that regulation. Let's say for some reason you're not able to depart within the clearance void time. 
a good plan of action would be to let etc know first that you did not depart so that they don't consider you old you and do not start search and rescue operations as well as the second thing you would have to do is you will have to file another flight plan get another clearance and then depart your previous flight plan is void that's why it's called void clearance is void after that time you'll have to redo the process second scenario is you did not depart and you did not report this is the worst scenario because like i said the clearance void time gives you that airspace so you are practically blocking this airspace adc doesn't know where you are they will have to start looking for you and when they start looking for you and find you sitting at an fbo drinking coffee because your airplane is not working well that scenario is not going to be very pleasant so always remember clearance void time is not flexible you have to follow clearance void time your wheels should be up before clearance void time if you do not depart by clearance void time your clearance is void you'll have to file another flight plan and the first thing you have to do is let atc know that you did not depart if you learned something from the video please hit the like button it really helps with the algorithm and it also gives me motivation to make such more videos subscribe to my channel check out propellerpilot.com for courses regarding pilot training i will see you guys in the next video